Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is Kid. How is everybody doing today? Guys, so check this out. In the last episode, we made this awesome tree farm. And guys, I have been using this thing like non-stop. I've been farming so much wood and I think this thing came out looking really, really cool. But guys, so in today's video, we're going to do something just a little bit different than usual. I know we've been doing a lot of building lately, stuff like that. And it's, a, it's time that we do something, uh, you know, fun. So... That being said, you may notice that there is a shulker box in my inventory and it's completely empty. The reason for that is because guys, I want to go ahead and collect tons of netherrack. As part of a deal that I worked out with my friend here, Nightmare Muffin off the server, I need to collect a ton of netherrack, uh, smelt it, and then make nether bricks. So yeah guys, so starting off in this episode, we're just going to go straight to the nether and farm up a ton of netherrack. And maybe we might even find some ancient debris <laughs> all right guys so yeah let's go ahead and get our sugar box here i also have another one that i might use just in case also it's empty and yeah guys so let's just go ahead and go straight to the nether um we could have took that portal right there <laughs> of course i'm not thinking uh, you know it's monday come on so yeah guys so with that being said let's get get ready to hop straight into a time lapse and i'll see you lovely people on the other side let's go guys so here we are back at the base and check this out we have five ancient debris that we got while we was gathering the netherrack 
and uh, we've never had ancient debris here before, so look at that. Five Cinnabons, that's kind of what they look like. They look like <laughs> desserts that you can eat, you know, during the late night or something. But guys, so with that being said, uh, I streamed about two days ago, and on that stream, I had my buddy Andy Day show up, and also Reflexive from here on the server. So uh, uh, shout out to them too, and uh, thanks for coming by. But with that, we had uh, Reflexive, and he came down here, and he put this awesome looking something together. Let's take a closer look. And there it is, boop. He put together this 12 uh, row smeltery of sorts. <laughs> and I think it's pretty, pretty cool. It definitely does its job. I'm not great when it comes to the technical side of Minecraft, and, you know, as far as like doing stuff like that or redstone or anything like that. So yeah, he put this nice smelter rate for us together and I'm thinking it's awesome. So yeah, I did the little bit of designing here. It's not that big of a deal. It's just we have some spruce stairs here. We have some uh, oak logs here for detail and some uh, spruce trap doors as well for detail. And also what I did, since this is a, a smeltery of sorts, I came in here and peppered the ground with a little bit of basalt, different ores. We have some gold there. We have some redstone. We have coal ores. And I think that's about it. Um, yeah, guys. But in this room, so if you check this, actually, if you come out this way, we have this kind of, I don't know, like this window thing here. We're just going to pretend real quick that we have, um, you know, like a good worker back there. And he's like protecting that furnace or something like that. But yeah, he's not going to let you back there unless you're an employee. So <laughs> you can just say, you know, we're employees, at least for right now. So yeah, we have this one single furnace right here. Um, I don't quite know what I was doing when I came up with this. But yeah, let's just say that that's some mysterious, awesome, super OP uh, furnace right there. And yeah. So I was thinking that looks pretty cool. I put a couple of magma blocks here. And of course, there's a campfire under it for that smoke detail bit. And I think that looks awesome. Also, again, I sprinkled in here a couple of ores. And uh, as for the block palette, we have some cobble in here. We have regular stone. We have stone brick. And a couple of bits of mossy here or there. Um, and guys, I do think this came out looking really, really cool. So if you're going to go to the stream, the idea was for us to actually work on what's above us. Um, to that end, we didn't really do that too much because, uh, I was kind of, you know, touring people of our base. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I was showing them all the cool things that we've made so far in the series. Uh, so it really didn't even get to do the upstairs. Uh, ultimately it's supposed to be a library. So we can take a look at this part real quick. I'm not going to go on the inside because it's not done yet, but this is supposed to be a library. It's supposed to house all of our collectibles, if you will. <laughs> That we've gotten off the server you know while we've been here and yeah so that's that's gonna be i'm not sure about the upstairs i might i don't know incorporate it somehow i might leave it uh, you know empty i mean who knows at this point and i just noticed there's those up there uh that wasn't me you, you saw nothing <laughs> um so yeah guys so today i think what i want to work on um is actually what do you call those things a keep yes I would work on a keep. So let's go ahead and gather a bit of materials and I will meet you, I think, over that way where we are going to be building a keep. I'll see you in a second. Jumping back in here, guys. Actually, I forgot to actually smelt the ancient debris. So let's just go ahead and do that real quick. Uh, if we put them in this chest right here, I believe. So let's just drop them in there. You see the hopper minecart right here kind of sucked them up real quick, right? And all we should have to do is pull this lever. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so all those uh, uh, shulkers of netherrack are also going to be smelted here. I'll probably do that behind the scenes because who wants to see the smelting of netherrack? I mean, it's not that enjoyable. But uh, momentarily, we should be having our ancient debris come out. And look at that. We have five scraps here. That is so cool. Um, hmm. Let's see. I think we need some gold next to complete the uh, netherite ingot process. So where would something like that be? You can find a link to Reflexive's channel down in the description. Please go check him out. He's an awesome guy and he really has awesome content. So once again, the link will be in the description below. And there it is. There goes the gold. I think we only need four pieces if I'm not mistaken. And yes, there we go. We got a netherite ingot. Now guys, so with that being said, we need to find a station where we can where we convert our diamond tool to uh, you know another right one. 
So if we come right over this way, I want to say that there's a smelting table somewhere. I'm not too sure, but it can't be too far. Oh no, actually it should be in here. So let's just go on this house and yep, there we go, right here. So which one do we convert? Do we do the sword, the pickaxe, or um, we have an ax here, shovel, or a diamond hole? Hmm, that's a really hard choice, but the one that I usually use most often is, well, this, our diamond pickaxe with silk touch. So without further delay, here we go, our netherite pickaxe. Check that, there we go, our first netherite tool. Look at that, that is awesome, and whoops. <laughs> uh, yeah, let me put this back real quick. Like so, there we go. Anyway yeah, guys, so now I'm gonna go ahead and gather a bit of materials, and we're just gonna go uh, start building up this um, keep. All right guys, so here we are, and I picked this nice little spot here. I kinda knocked some of the trees down already. I still need to patch up a little bit of those dirt spots there, but that's all in due time. So for right now, we have a couple of shulker boxes with a bit of different supplies in it. This one mainly has dirt here and gravel. This one has all of our stone bits here. And this one is our log box. So we have plenty of spruce, plenty of jungle, plenty, a little bit of birch, a little bit of oak, and a decent amount of dark oak. And that is looking pretty cool. So starting off, I think I want to take a couple of stacks of, hmm, maybe actually regular stone rather than uh, cobblestone, right? So let's just do something like this. And let's just make a rough, a, a rough outline of what we're going to do here. And like I said before, I want to make a keep. I think this is going to serve as an upgrade to my starter house. I find that I don't have a lot of storage in there or anything like that. So hopefully this bit will do that. So let's see. Hmm. I don't want to make it too big. I want it to be within scale of this, of our main like uh, village here. So let's see what we can do. All right, guys. So I just finished putting in an outline for our castle keep that we're making. However, guys, I think we're going to have to postpone it because check out our new friend. Look at this beautiful fox. Hi, fox. Hello, what do you have in your mouth? Oh, is that an egg? Hmm, let's see, what do I have? Do I have anything? You want a piece of beef? Here, you want it? Go ahead, have it. That's right, yeah, yum, yum, yum. So guys, in today's video, I'm thinking we should make a fox sanctuary. I think that'd be so cool because who doesn't love a fox and they're so cute. The way they sleep under the trees and they look so peaceful. Yeah, guys, so you know what? Change of plans. Let's go ahead and make a fox sanctuary. All right, guys, so here we are at the build site for the uh, fox sanctuary. And I picked this spot because I really do like the way this kind of uh, mountain looks, right? And we also have the spruce over here, which is kind of home to our friend Mr. Fox right there. And also, I'm not sure if I showed it yet, but this was actually the outline for our little uh, keep that I was going to make today. But since we're doing that, we're probably not going to be able to get to this today. But next episode, most likely we'll get to this. Or maybe we could get to it today, but I'll probably have to do most of it in the form of a time lapse. But uh, let's first focus on this. So what I was doing, right, I was taking some uh, stone, right? And I want to kind of make an organic kind of like cave-like structure. So this is how I'm thinking about doing it. So I want to go on a diagonal and just kind of lay a bit of a, a foundation, if you will. But I want to start lifting them up just once, one at a time. So there goes one there, and then I want to kind of continue it. So I'm going to have to branch off this way a little bit just to come back over here. Then we could destroy that block. And yeah, see, we're still on this kind of like uh, line, this diagonal line. And basically, we're just going to keep doing that until we, you know, get to a spot that we find to be... Uh, I guess not so much comfortable but to our liking so I think right here will be pretty cool and yeah and then we have this behind us um, we're gonna go we're gonna come in later on in texture but for right now we're not gonna worry about it so yeah guys this is looking pretty cool and since we started here on this side maybe we can start hmm the problem is that there's some of this land is a little bit more elevated than I wanted to or than I want it to be and I don't want to destroy it too much so I'm just going to peel this back, uh, maybe something like this ever so slightly, maybe something like that. And then we can also get rid of this layer, maybe just about right there. Yeah. And then we can start over here and let's say right about 
yeah, which is good. Yep, it's in line with that one. And then, yeah, we're just going to more or less do the same thing that we did uh, right there. So, um, hmm, I'm thinking about I will probably, you know, do most of this in the form of a first person time lapse, not third person. So basically, you'll just be seeing me doing exactly what I'm doing, but it'll be sped up. That way, you don't have to, we don't have to waste time kind of doing this repeating pattern. But let me go ahead and do just one more on camera with you guys. So, yeah, if, if we have one here, uh, wait, hold on, something doesn't look right. Uh, okay, so if we put one here. Uh, right here and then put another one here and then we can lift it up just like so and then we can take take off these uh, temporary blocks so that way the only bit that we should have left is the diagonal as you can see it's there and that's looking pretty cool let's see what else um, this one comes off right here mm -hmm. and this one comes off there you go so yeah it started to take shape it's probably gonna take a little while but this is all I'm going to do basically. I'm just going to try to make a nice looking organic shape. Um, there's a couple different ways you can do it. And also we should probably connect this. So let's see if this is the line here. If we take one out and bring it right there. There we go. And now it kind of connects to the main structure there. So yeah, um, you could do it this way. There's a couple different ways you can do it. You can randomly kind of just start lifting up blocks and do that too. But again, I wanted to see if I can't do a bit of a organic shape. So I'm going to keep, you know, doing it this way. So actually, since this might be a little time consuming, I'm actually going to go ahead and do this in the form of a regular time lapse. So come on, guys, let's get this thing going. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the time lapse, but check out this box sanctuary. Boing, and there it is right over there. And this is looking really, really cool. At the last moment, I actually added this thing. I kind of saw it floating around in the community. This is basically a uh, mushroom block and a end rod for extra lighting, even though we don't need it, but I like it for like that fantasy kind of decorating bit. But I came in here with my usual things. 
uh, anywhere from gravel, of course, dirt, leaves, sweet berries, you know, that kind of stuff that I use, guys. So I'm not going to go ahead and name it all, but I came in here with some of these um, stone buttons because they kind of look like rocks. So I thought that was pretty cool. Also, I came in over in this section right here. I just kind of bone milled this area down here, added a little bit of cobble, added a little bit of these things here as well. And I think a little bit of bamboo action right there, a little sugar cane, maybe a little bit more bamboo right there. Just gave it, you know, just wanted to bring this area right here back to life ever so slightly. And guys, I think it looks really, 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 really cool. I detailed up there a tad bit. I kind of wanted to go maybe, a, a, you know, like over there just a little bit more, but I suppose there's no rush right now. I mean, you know, this is our area or rather this is our fox area and look at our fox in there he's in there chilling so originally in the time lapse i know you guys didn't see this but yeah this is how we're kind of keeping him in there um i kind of want to set him free but you know i want a fox so i use these kind of nether vines right here and look at him isn't he so cute yes you are anyhow <laughs> so i use these nether vines i use regular vines um uh, well there's some sweet berries in there obviously obviously with a little bit of mushroom there um let's see so there's some leaves on the ceiling here a bit of fence action to keep them in there with a spruce fence gate and yeah it looks really cool and of course the black the block palette for this is cobblestone stone brick regular stone and a little bit of mossy peppered in there and yeah guys so i think this thing came out looking really really cool and i had a fun time making it And yeah, basically, I didn't want to wake up the fox. But yes, thank you so much for being in the comments each and every video. And that also means at the same time that you are watching every video. So thank you so much for all the love and support. I really, really do appreciate it. And with that, guys, I will see all of you lovelies in the next Minecraft video here on Lucid SMP. Goodbye.